Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankash Rai, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can add Camera X to your Android app built with Jetpack Compose. Well, till the beta 4 version of Jetpack Compose, we do not have the camera composable. So, if we want to add the camera functionality to app, then we have to use one of the features offered by Jetpack Compose, which is the ability to use the existing views inside composable so in this video let's see how we can do that first switch to gradle and add the dependency for the camera x once that is done now the next thing is to this resource directory just right click and create one more directory layout inside this layout let's create one xml file let me name this as camera layout. So if you've used camera X before, then you might be knowing about the preview view. So I'm going to access the preview view from this XML file. So let's create the preview view. We do not need any view group. So no linear layout, no constraint or any other type of view group. Also because I need to access this preview view. So let's give an ID too. So that's it for the layout system. Now let's go back to our composables. So main activity is having all of our composables. Let me delete all of this and create a new composable name camera. Let me delete this creating Android. So one thing here is that Camera X requires lifecycle owner and the context. So let's first create the object for the lifecycle owner and the context. Lifecycle owner equals to local lifecycle owner dot current. Also the context. We can get the context from local context dot current now the next is camera provider future because we do not want it to initialize with a new value again and again so i'm putting it inside the remember block so process camera provider dot get instance which require context, so we can pass on the context object here. Once this is done, let's try to access our preview view from this composable. Let me create an object preview view. Remember, preview view, which require context, so the context is something which we have created before dot apply where we have to specify the id this id should be same as whatever you specified inside this xml file so it should be r dot id dot preview view so now we have an object for the preview view so how do we can access it inside our composable? So for that, we have Android view composable, which takes factory. Inside this, we can pass on our preview view object. And that's it. Because I want this to be of occupying entire screen, so let me give the modifier as fill max size. So that's it. Now with this, we can access our existing view through a composable. But for camera, we need to do more. We need to add the camera provider feature, the listeners, then also add the bind to lifecycle method. So let's do all of them. So we have camera provider future dot add listener inside this 
let's create a camera provider object so camera provider dot get then let's create a preview object build and also it dot surface provider set to preview view dot surface provider now let's specify which camera do we want either back or the front so camera selector is equals to camera selector dot default back camera in case you need front camera then you can specify default front camera okay let me switch back to default back camera and finally inside our try and catch let's unbind all and then bind to life cycle camera provider dot bind to life cycle so we have life cycle owner then camera selector then preview in case of any exception then let's catch it here we can have some sort of log here like exception camera x finally let's provide the executor context compact dot get main executor So with this little step, we have added camera functionality to our app built with Jetpack Compose. One thing which is quite missing here is the image analyzer. So let's see how we can add that too. For that, we just need to create one class. So let me create a class as say face analyzer. Which will extend image analysis dot analyzer here we get the image proxy object in case you need to use the image object then you can create image object here using image proxy dot image also once the work is done do remember to close the image now how do we can add this to the life cycle of the camera provider so for that let's create an object say face analysis we'll have image analysis dot builder then set back pressure strategy this is completely optional setting the back pressure strategy but this is highly useful if you are going to use machine learning model Just keep only latest dot build dot also it dot analyzer So the first one is the executor and the second one is whatever you have created so it's a face analyzer that's it for the camera executor we have to create an object so let's create the camera executor okay. 
executor dot new single thread executor that's it we can pass on this camera executor object here inside the set analyzer finally we just need to set the face analysis inside this bind to life cycle that's it now we can call this from the surface so with this little step you have the camera functionality enabled in your app also do not forget to check for the permissions and add to the manifest that you need the camera permission So that's it in this video. If you have liked this video, then do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so as to get the videos on the latest topics of Android, Kotlin, and Firebase. Thank you and stay tuned.